Hi, in this video we are going to solve a question related to relational algebra. Uh, the question says the three tables are given or three relations are given and you have to write either SQL or relational algebra. I am going to write the relational algebra part. Um, yeah, there are three relations given student, teachers and college and uh, let's look into the first question. Um, let me write the answer for it here. Okay, so the first question says find name of the students who live in Lalitpur. So the question is very simple. Um, the name, the attribute is name, the attribute that you have to find is name, and table name is a student uh, because it says find the name of students who live in Lalitpur. There is a condition given the address is Lalitpur so uh, you start with pi or project operation why uh, because it says only name of the attribute it if the question was about all the attributes then you could directly use the select or sigma symbol uh, since they are asking only name you have to write pi student student name okay uh, excuse my handwriting this is uh, the first time I am trying with stylus okay so the thing the attribute you have to find out is student name this is the attribute name and from which table from a student table and the condition there is one condition also the condition says uh, the predicate is address is Lalitpur Lalitpur and from which table obviously student table okay so this is the answer for question number A question number B says find name of the teacher who teaches database management system subject so very similar to uh, question A almost same as question uh, question number A name of the teacher the attribute you have to find is name of the teacher and from which table obviously teachers table and the condition given is DBMS subject so by teacher name I'm writing the short form you have to write the full form teacher name uh, yeah from which table from obviously this teachers table and what is the condition the condition is by sorry sigma subject sorry teaching subject teaching this is the attribute we are talking about teaching subject subject equals to d b m s you have to write the full form here uh, d b m s system from which table from teachers table okay uh, yeah so the question number c says question number c is uh, it's uh, not very tough but a bit more complicated than question A and B so here it says find the name of the teacher who teaches computer organization subject to John Smith okay find the name if you look into the question from here to here if you look into this much then this question is almost same as question number B so this much is fine but there is one more condition the condition says this particular teacher should be teaching uh, to a student John Smith so you have to uh, look into conditions from these two different tables and one more thing if you notice there is no common attribute between these two tables so if uh, there is a question which says which asks you to get values from uh, two different tables or uh, it talks about conditions from two different tables then obviously we are going to use something called join natural join and 
uh, while doing the while, while performing the natural join you have to make sure there is a common attribute if you look into only these two tables there is no common attribute but if you include this table also then these three tables are going to have common attributes teachers and college share this common attribute teacher id and student and college share roll number okay so uh, i'm just writing the right most part of the expression that is student join college join teachers okay this is the rightmost part from which table uh, you have to find the uh, find the values from the table joined okay join table which is a join of student college and teachers uh, you have to write the full form just to save the space and due to this stylus issue i am writing the shortcut okay so this is the rightmost part and uh, and there is a condition also and what you have to find out is name of the teacher so you can just start with writing by teacher name okay teacher name uh, for, and the condition is the teaching subject should be computer organization and and there is one more condition the student name what is the yeah student name student name should be john smith you just have to write uh, the full forms okay i'm just trying to save the space okay uh yeah and another closing bracket here this is the relational algebra expression for this and question number d says uh, insert a new tuple into relation teachers so while inserting you use you make use of assignment operator and union operator right for insert operations and what is the name of the table table name is teachers okay so teachers equals to uh, teachers union union of a set of new values just uh, write some random values make sure the values correspond to attributes but you can write anything here it's teachers uh, teacher id teacher name and teaching subject teacher id it can be anything i am just writing t10 and teacher's name can be anything any name and the subject he teaches for example java okay this statement uh, just uh, write the full form teachers here teachers here and this statement or this relational algebra expression will insert a new tuple into teachers table okay and yeah question number e delete records of students whose address is pokhara so the question number e says delete records from students from which table so a student is assigned a student minus instead of union we are using minus here because we are deleting a tuple now and which tuples were whose address is pokhara mm -hmm. that means sigma address goes to pokhara okay from which table students or is it a student okay only student no yes here only student and yeah this minus this this will give you the this will uh, remove tuples from the table the students whose address is pokhara okay thank you i hope it helps